Bill is a man of extraordinary vision and great courage and has a way of inspiring others to be courageous in what they attempt and what they achieve. He has improved and saved the lives of millions of people around the world who would have experienced terrible suffering or death from diseases such as smallpox, measles, malaria, guinea worm, and also malnutrition. This has required courage to cross boundaries, to go to disease-ridden places, and to understand the people and their culture. I'm very proud to have Bill Feige as my mentor and as my friend, and that Georgia Tech has recognized his vision and social courage. Throughout his public health career, Dr. Fagy has been a leader and proponent of global health, uh, has recognized the world as a terribly interconnected place long before this became a popular notion, long before globalization was a term. Dr. Fagy was at home in any one of a number of countries and cultures and recognized the inherent value of what the people in those countries had to offer us as much as what we had to offer them. What's so great about him is that he doesn't take himself too seriously. That means that people don't feel barriers in relating to him. In listening to him, he's probably one of the best communicators of our time. Yes, he's a brilliant scientist, but I think uh, he's an unusual human being in that he exudes caring and he communicates so well and he develops uh, positive relationships with people. Dr. Fagey has been just a absolute champion and will always speak out for what's right. He's always been willing to speak the truth to power. He's always been willing to make clear to people what the real priority is and, and how we have to keep people in the center of what we do. And so, you know, I think his courage comes from the fact that he's always been willing to speak the truth no matter what the consequences are. Sometimes in public health, uh, we're described as uh, taking the road least traveled by. Uh, it's not the most lucrative part of medicine or health, and it's often involving trying to help the underserved, trying to right the wrongs, trying to make changes. And it takes somebody uh, persuading people to push the envelope to move forward. Uh, and Bill Fagey did that and does that. Uh, Ivan Allen said, we don't have to be a city that is like other cities in the South that resists civil rights and resists uh, saying that all men are created equal. We can be different. And I will have the courage to do that. And I will make Atlanta different. They're similar in, in their own ways, in their own fields. If you go back and you look at the things he did, there are some pretty spectacular achievements. He was really the architect behind the eradication of smallpox. He would never tell you, um, but that was one of the things he did, just one. And he also took on the project of helping to immunize the world's children in poor countries. And he helped raise the immunization levels of children against the common diseases of childhood from 20% to 80%. It was an extraordinary achievement. The amazing thing to me is his ability to move back and forth with apparent ease between individual suffering and population level solutions to that suffering. Individual physicians, clinical physicians deal with suffering one on one. Those of us in epidemiology and global health may sit behind computers and analyze data, but we don't see the faces. Dr. Fagey is able to go back and forth between the two and to relate the two and to inspire uh, those of us working in one area or the other to, to see uh, either the numbers or the faces. And in fact, uh, his vision, his ability to persuade others meant that day after day and month after month, uh, he pursued uh, the most important opportunities to improve global health. And then the months became years, and the years became decades, and his effectiveness continued to grow and continued to pursue until all of a sudden you have a body of work that has changed the world.